Do you get the jitters before performing in front of others? Well, you're not alone. That rush of anxiety can make it almost impossible for most people to focus. But what if there was a way to quiet those nerves fast? That's where beta blockers like propranolol and metoprolol come in. Today, we're having a showdown between two popular beta blockers, propranolol versus metoprolol. Which one is the best choice for managing performance anxiety? We're going to cover how the two work and finally settle the question of which beta blocker is going to be right for you. And if you're not keen on using beta blockers long term, are there natural alternatives that can help you tackle anxiety in the same way without many of the drawbacks? We'll cover all of that. So let's explore how these two beta blocker medications actually work. Stick around to find out which beta blocker wins in the final showdown for performance anxiety supremacy. What is propranolol? Propranolol is the highest prescribed beta blocker medication in America. It's available under the brand name Indural in the US. Beta blockers have the full name beta adrenergic blocking agents because they work by blocking the effects of adrenergic hormones, such as adrenaline. Doctors typically prescribe beta blockers to treat various heart conditions like high blood pressure, irregular heartbeat, and angina or chest pains. Beta blockers help with these cardiovascular issues by influencing the force with which the heart pumps blood. Of course, here we're talking about using propranolol for anxiety purposes, which requires a doctor's prescription in the U.S. and would be considered off-script usage. It's a fairly common practice for performers. Check out the documentary film Composed to get an idea of how common beta blocker usage is amongst performers and musicians. What is metoprolol? Metoprolol is another very popular beta blocker that works similarly to propranolol. It blocks the effects of adrenaline, and it is also usually prescribed to treat cardiovascular issues like high blood pressure and irregular heartbeat. The brand name that metoprolol is available under is Lopressor. Back in 1978, the FDA approved the use of metoprolol under the Lopressor name. Just like propranolol, metoprolol also requires a prescription from a doctor. It is prescribed around 27 million times each year in the United States alone, but it has not been determined how much of that is for cardiovascular health purposes and how much is anxiety purposes. For pranolol or metoprolol, which is better for anxiety? There are two categories of beta blockers, selective and non-selective. Selective variants target only the heart's beta-1 adrenoceptors, while non-selective variants affect both beta-1 and beta-2 adrenoceptors throughout various bodily systems. Propranolol is a broad-spectrum, non-selective beta blocker, whereas metoprolol is a selective beta blocker. In practice, however, both beta blockers curb adrenaline effects in a similar way, leading to slowed heart rates and reduced blood pressure, and often reducing the major anxiety and stage fright symptoms. Propranolol is actually the more popular of the two drugs among performers, mainly because it works best for short-term relief. Propranolol does a great job of normalizing heart rate, reducing trembling and sweating, and more. Propranolol brings you back to a calm state, at least physically, which then has an effect on you mentally, and you feel calmer overall. Another reason performers like propranolol is that the side effects are minimal. For some people, though, propranolol is too much for them. It can make some people feel so relaxed that they feel too drowsy to perform at their best. While it's not ideal to be a jittery mess, you also don't want to feel sleepy and lethargic during a speaking event. Metoprolol is less popular for anxiety purposes and is typically used more often for high blood pressure. The side effects of metoprolol can be more pronounced and frequent than with propranolol, although overall are still quite insignificant and rare. If propranolol makes you drowsy or if your doctor suggests that propranolol might interact with other medications you take, then metoprolol could well be the right option for you. Alternatives to propranolol and metoprolol for fighting anxiety and stage fright Performance anxiety does not have to be a chronic, lifelong affliction. We now have various strategies and tools available that can be used to overcome any form of anxiety, including medications like beta blockers and others, mental strategies, and dietary supplements. Let's take a look at a few alternative ways that people are fighting their performance fears and anxieties. Alternative number one, extensive practice. Mild cases of performance anxiety, social anxiety, and stage fright may be treatable quite simply with practice. Many people struggle with anxiety simply because they haven't experienced a situation before. It's a new scenario to them, and that can be very scary. 
A fear of the unknown and lack of confidence often manifests itself in extreme fear or anxiety. But once we get used to being present during said scenario and develop confidence within these kinds of situations, the fear often melts away. So as much as possible, practice for situations that scare you and cause the most anxiety. Run the situations over in your head, thinking through various outcomes and situations that could arise. If you can, create controlled, lower-stakes versions of the anxiety-inducing scenario. So if you have a big speech coming up, gather a small group of friends and brief them that you need some of their time to practice, and then practice your speech in front of them. Of course, you can't prepare for every possible outcome, but you can certainly make sure you're ready for anything that isn't an act of God. Alternative number two, breathing exercises. Certain breathing techniques can be effective in stopping the onset of physical anxiety symptoms caused by a stress response in the body. Breathing exercises are best for providing short-term, instantaneous fixes that you can put into practice before you enter a high-anxiety scenario. One particular breathing exercise that's popular with performers is known as diaphragmatic breathing, or belly breathing, where you take deep breaths, engaging the stomach and the diaphragm. In contrast to regular, unconscious breathing, an effort is made to bring the breath down into the stomach, which should rise and fall with each breath. Diaphragmatic breathing is used in meditative practices like yoga and tai chi. Studies show that deep breathing has positive effects on thinking processes and stress, mostly because it helps reduce cortisol levels, cortisol being a hormone that gets released when we are stressed or anxious. Diaphragmatic breathing can also help reduce blood pressure and improve heart rate variability, which works to lessen the severity of symptoms one may experience with performance anxiety. Alternative number three, perform Zen Calm Performance Formula. Perform Zen is an all-natural supplement that contains a mix of ingredients to support focus, calm, and cognition, all of which counteracts performance anxiety and stage fright before any high-anxiety situation. Perform Zen Calm Performance Formula contains ingredients like GABA, L-theanine, and magnesium, as well as the cognitive-enhancing ingredients ginkgo biloba, vitamin B6, and thecrin. These ingredients have all been shown to induce a calming effect on the body as well as keeping the brain sharp and your thinking creative. If you're interested in using Perform Zen to help keep you calm, creative, and focused the next time you're in a high-pressure scenario, learn all about us at www.performzen.com. If you like this video, click that subscribe button and make sure you drop a like and comment below. We'd love to hear your experiences with metoprolol and propranolol in the comments, so please share. And you can also check out one of these other videos from the channel. We have some great resources if you're struggling with anxiety, phobias, or stage fright and performing. And until next time, break a leg.